Shall we start, guys? Yeah, yeah, we need to start. First agenda is like DG meet discussion. In the last discussion, we had like I think we don't have anything. Uh, yeah. Take forward space in magazine and AID magazine advertisement. Yeah, Shishire ka ma'am se baat karna tha. Ye nahi ho paaya tha. I'll follow up with this this Sunday and. DG meet discussion. What is DG meet discussion? Uh, let's speak on this for some time. मेरा हिसाब से DG meet discussion इसीलिए जरूरी है road map के लिए कि administration का administrative का pathway हम लोगों को खुलेगा. उसमें हम लोगों को एक रास्ता दिखेगा. उससे हम लोगों को एक shape मिलेगा हम लोगों को organisation को. Yeah. So in panelment of DG is very much uh, required at this point of time. Okay. And uh, now the now the next stage is to approach them. Thereafter, we need to send them a formal invitation. I am saying, that we can uh, DG is required for our meeting. This is uh, perfect and fine. We have discussed on that, right? Mm. Now is the matter of matter is how to approach DG. Mm. Now is the matter of matter is how to approach DG. Approaching is the main issue, na? How we are going to approach? Either we are going to mail them, or uh, going to tell them with an enclosure of our details of what we have uh, done so far or where we have gone so far. Right, and what we want also. And what we want also. That is our mission and vision. We will yeah. incorporate in a kind of concept note and attach in the mail. So one person. Has to give a presentation also in front of him. So it's like the presentation is like very important. We have to see like we have to articulate. Supposing what are we going to do? Like we have to articulate all the schemes, existing schemes under RD, and what how we can intervene. All the members have to like give one kind of concept note for some of the schemes that they are working on. So Manrika. Wages like distribution also can be decentralized, like some private agency or some kind of NGO like ours can take over that uh, thing, and we can for to do to get more transparency in uh, like uh, giving work to N Rex uh, like cardholders, no? Uh, like private Bharatan Mandri that Gram Sadak Yojana also. In most of the states, the PWD department are handling the scheme, not the RD department. So. This is like this is also an area where we can intervene. The scheme should be handled by the, uh, like Ministry of RD or like Rural Development Department in the states. So, like in UP and all, they have already established like one agency to handle it. So, uh, the latest trend is like uh, as of now in our country, uh, every scheme has been evaluated by the Modi government. So the the they are hiring like. Big big consultancy firms like PwC and KPMG, ENY, and all to evaluate the schemes. No, in that also, in that area also, if we intervene, then I think we will be more professional also in giving a good report also for the schemes. No, how do we? Yes, yes. How do we intervene in the scheme? That is what we have to show to the DG. Because our real purpose is like to fill the gaps, like you said earlier. And other members of our group also mentioned. Abhinay, please. Abhinay, one thing. Yeah. In addition to the points that Stanis has put up here, so I have some uh conceptual things also like we can add. So in the as Stanis has talked about Narega, so Narega is also like in terms of like uh gender responsive, child responsive, or maybe it's a sock responsive thing. So we can do some policy advocacy as well in the things that are currently running in NIRD. They are doing this, uh, this wage study. Okay. So during the COVID, we have we all have seen ki how we all have faced the issues. So as far as like uh, keeping youth and like other uh, working population away from it. So if you think about this elderly age people, so those who are in the home care, so how they suffered. So and along with that, if you'll include this child child facilities that are there at the like a uh, Manrega a uh, work site for the like uh, maybe it's a uh, like female workers or female laborers. So all these policy advocacy things that are available for uh, I'm talking about the women and child aspects because I work in that. So don't take it like it's a 
Uh, yeah, yeah, but what will what is the responsibility where where we are going? What is the role of this point where we are going to the DG? I I think that this uh, advocacy of the policy should not only be confined within this NIRD only. Any policy, let's say any policy outside working of the government, can be anywhere. If we are able to analyze that policy and find some loopholes, we can rec recommend that that is what the advocacy is all about, and we can publish those reports through our magazines of NIRD. So that could be one part. Avnish, what he is telling, he could be more specific about that. Within NIRD, how we can do that? Yeah. If 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 we will work with the target population like children or the women, then there are certain facilities that are specific to the gender, right? Like women. So in terms of this Narega policy or the guidelines, so there are three aspects. First is the gender responsive. Second is that child responsive, and third is the shock responsive thing. Shock responsive, like when this uh, any kind of natural calamity or some disaster happen. So how we can improve the uh, facilities that are available at the Narega work site. So yeah. when we do impact assessment, we also do the gap analysis of that also. Right. And another thing is is uh, that policy advocacy is a kind of freelancer kind of thing also. Like how Tata uh, TIST has done a, a project uh, there somewhere in the schools or uh, girls hostel where they found that that women trafficking and things are happening. So that was not coming under any project, but they have done for their on calls. Let's okay. let's keep this and we'll work on that. We'll see what is going out there. And they have yeah. published the same report within their platforms, and that got highlighted Pan India. And okay. which I was I was talking about this analytical review thing actually. Mm. It's something like uh, different from the impact assessment or the need based assessment that we can do. So along with that, we can like uh, think about this analytical reviews of different different schemes. So for example, if we talk about this Nariga thing, so we can do analytical review of strengthening gender, child, and soft responsive of Nariga. So, like this, there are so many schemes, and we can do the analytical review, and in that we can, like, uh, different different like measurement instruments are there actually. So the instrument that I talked before, like gender parity index. So all these things with this, we can easily calculate or analyze this. Right. Uh, if it is narrowed down, concept note and business model for the organ alma mater organization is one of the biggest point, and specific scheme analysis is one of the bigger point. Like policy gap, policy analysis, policy advocacy. This is another one which we can include in the presentation. So, what else we need to include uh, in the presentation for the digital meet discussion? Right. Basically, if I'll talk about the purpose of the analytical review, that to consolidate provisions of the act actually on the basis of gender and soft responsive to build a comprehensive understanding actually. Which one? Yes, stated yes. intention. So it's a government stated intention that we need to uh, get out of it. And other others areas that is to validate and identify areas to develop policy prescription based on the decisions of the government. Okay. And third thing that I think that is the most important thing is to dive into the secondary and primary data that are available for the gender, like women, for the soft responsive things or the schemes, and how we can make it more transparent and more accountable for the people. Why we not farm such a groups to help a farmer? Suppose like, you know, MG Narega groups, they farming, you know, they are going for uh, uh, wage labor for some work, work and they're getting some uh, employment, uh, you know, or daily wage. So if that such kind of group, we will create and we will, uh, you know, help to the farmers to prevent farmer suicide. Like, you know, many uh, farmers, they are struggling to give uh, wage to the uh, uh, wage for their own uh, production, you know. So, uh, so DG meet के लिए इसीलिए जा रहा है कि हम लोग एक ब्राउचर बनाएं हम लोग का संस्था के बारे में और हम लोगों का activities decided है हम लोगों का teams decided है हम लोग उनको कबर इसमें देना है कि सर हम लोग ready है हम लोग साथ में civil service करेंगे so, and in the meanwhile, we also need to add the points of how the networking can be done after the DG's move also. Well, I think so at least first we have to segregate our actually whatever we need to present in front of the DG actually. In terms of sector wise, let's suppose in health, in terms of other sector, let's suppose social policy and social protection, what we are planning to do. So if we'll be able to segregate the activities first and after that, post and pre-analysis or the impact one, whatever activities that we are going to do. So we can plan accordingly. So do you think that before uh, 
starting the uh, entity, we need to go to the DG or after starting the entity, we need to go to DG. Yeah. We have we have to be so prepared if you want to go to for that higher authority. You know, we have to be so prepared and we have to have a clear vision why we are going. Yeah, Raghu, yeah, yeah. absolutely right. What Raghu is telling, so that uh, this is the plan. Like we have to present at least minimum of three three years of our uh, planning. Now we have to putting everything as per on the timeline and everything. I'm saying. We can right. see where we have reached. We have to put all the things what we have discussed every in in the form of concept, not now. Right. So he, we have to have a very good profile of our NGO. Also, like what our NGO or organization or our company, startup company, is going to do. Uh, like he, regarding that concept, no, no, we should also focus on how we are going to like generate revenue. So, no, no, you are speaking yes. about the revenue generation model of the our institution or our flagship programs. Yeah, our institution also and plus for the farmers also. Like we have to focus on both sides, no? Because it's more of uh social entrepreneurship. Uh, uh. Will the NIRD PR alumni association shareholders be involved? Merged share capital. What about the share capital? Like, is agenda ke bare mein, hum log hmm. इतना लोग है 200 200 लोग आप आप भी पैसा दिए थे ना शेयर कैपिटल हां 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 आप भी मेंबर है तो अभी हम लोग नेशनल नेशनल अलुमनी एसोसिएशन के नीचे नेशनल चैप्टर बोल रहा है तो या रीजनल चैप्टर बोल रहा है ये नेशनल चैप्टर का बात कहां पे आया मतलब ये एजीएम में आया कैन आई से समथिंग या 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 दिस इज कमिंग सी uh involvement means we have should we should be clear now what kind of involvement if you want to make everyone should be involved at what level is it a policy level or else it is a financial level or is it like a consultancy like we are taking from help help from them if we think in such a way we are trying to design ourselves what should be done work employment generate kar rahe ya entrepreneurship bol sakte hai हम लोग एक एनजीओ बोल सकते हैं नॉन प्रॉफिट या फॉर प्रॉफिट दोनों बोल सकते हैं सी एनआईआरडी एल्मा एसोसिएशन इज मेड फॉर अ पर्पस ऑफ फॉर्मिंग अ एल्युमिनाय एसोसिएशन ऑफ एनआईआरडी सीपीजीएस राइट राइट नाउ द पॉइंट इज दैट कि इफ एनआईआरडी एल्युमिनाय एसोसिएशन हैज ऑलरेडी फॉर्मड विद सम लीगलिटीज ऑफ द एनआईआरडी अंडर द सेम एजेंडा विद द सेम एजेंडा व्हाट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट yeah in in a same purpose they, uh, but in a not in a direction of employment generation but in a enhancement in the capacity building of the alma mater it has been designed hum hamara ideas bata denge if they are aligning with us then we can work together uh, there is a there is a ngo in the same way they have followed the same systematic procedure what we are following so they have written the vision mission objectives thematic goals and everything according to the registration of societies act whatever needs to be submitted by uh, according to the procedure it has been submitted what we are also doing is also the same who is going to convey to the existing alma mater and when will the alma mater speak to us and how is the talk should happen our our motto is like employment employment giving and employment taking Mm. Our motto is employment giving and employment taking from the uh, Alma network and Alma Alma capabilities. I can say. हमने उधर रेस किया था कि Alma matter में employment generation finance matter involve होना जरूरी है. हम बोले थे. तो हमको हजार employment generation करना है. तो ये association है. Association में finance को involve मत करो. Finance involve करने से block को एक अलग रास्ता मिलेगा ये जो ये कभी तक नहीं हुआ बट टेक फॉरवर्ड फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट इज वन ऑफ द पॉइंट टेक फॉरवर्ड फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज लाइक लाइक अंडरस्टैंडिंग द एग्जिस्टिंग एसोसिएशन बाय लॉस आई बिलीव लाइक इन माय ओपिनियन वी शुड टेक देयर एडवाइस देयर लाइक अ वी शुड कंसल्ट विद देम बट आई थिंक एट द सेम टाइम आल्सो वी शुड क्रिएट अ मॉडल फॉर देम एट 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 फर्स्ट या Yes, that yes. is that is to be discussed should we need do we need another entity for the national chapter the next agenda is like do we need another entity for national chapter so that is what so we will have a separate uh, 
bylaws. We will have a separate agenda. We will have a separate mission or vision, whatever it may be. So we will work for that. So what I understood is that, and uh, that's what I'm telling. Exactly. You. My my one one of the question is like, mm. in 2023 we have thousand mm. above thousand professionals working on the uh, graduated from NIRD PR thousand mm. professionals and mm. helping the society in a scattered way in different different organizations. I hope you. So NIRD is NIRD is NIRD is broader objective and its agenda is to advocate policy and formulate policy and to help them to implement the policies. Right. We have we have we have two parts which both are very practical and feasible. Either we should go with this uh, uh, alumni association and form a, a, a extended chain of them. It is naturally assumed that they all will be working in the different capacities, and this alumni association is formed to coordinate along with three thousand people. Right. Okay. So with that uh, umbrella only, we can uh, pull uh, stretch a little bit, and we can come out with this new agenda of our workings. So if if we have if we are the people, uh, ten people who registered mm -hmm. on the name of NGO out of the uh, alumni association or national chapter, can we? Uh, how effective we guys can work? How effective we can we guys can work with national uh, or the alma name? No, no, no. We are doing the things which are actually Raghu has joined a little bit late <laughs> before our work has started. Anyway. And only thing is that we will uh, do a formal communication after forming the society. And our discussion which we diverted is that uh, whether we we will form our society, we will make our goals and we will plan an action uh, plan up to two to three years and we will present this to DG. That was our action point actually to talk, right? So this case, someone said uh, we should write a concept note. So yeah. uh, uh. let's write. Our abhi seven log hai na. We will uh. pick up uh, different uh, uh, schemes or policies which you are interested in or which you are working in. Right. अभी सेवन सेक्टर्स नहीं तो एक ही सेक्टर में सेवन अलग अलग कॉन्सेप्ट होगा देन वी विल वर्क ऑन इट मतलब एक हिसाब से कॉन्सेप्ट नोट के अंदर हम लोग स्पेसिफिक स्कीम्स आइडेंटिफाई करने का हम लोग टास्क ले रहे हैं अभी by name wise you can write their uh, contribution of the themes like which theme you are having expertise and you can give us some brief uh, note of that and brief note uh, should only consider two two major points one is the uh, uh, brief uh, uh, about that particular theme and second the probable gaps what we have found till now see अभी Sorry? इसके सारे स्कीम्स के अभी ये कॉन्सेप्ट्स में सारा स्कीम्स है एंड इम्प्लीमेंटिंग एजेंसीज आर आल्सो देयर वन थिंग वी शुड ब्रिंग इन आवर डॉक्यूमेंट इज हाउ वी आर डिफरेंट इन इम्प्लीमेंटिंग दीस थिंग्स एंड हाउ एफिशिएंटली वी कैन डू इट पहले वी नीड टू वर्क ऑन व्हाट प्रेजेंटेशन वी कैन मेक विद डीजी सर प्लीज आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू हैव एन आई मीन ऐड एन एडिशनल टॉपिक ऑफ फंड राइजिंग व्हिच इज मोर इंपोर्टेंट हम जितना तक काम किया फंड राइजिंग में फंड राइजिंग इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द इकोसिस्टम उस इकोसिस्टम तक कहां कैसे पहुंचना है समझना जरूरी है like if you understand the impact fund understand the organization of vardantam vardantam is an organization works for ngos ngo goals they will raise funds on behalf of you for your goals what you want to uh, achieve and they will take 5 to 10% out of that uh, fundraising fund and they'll give the fund to your ngo it's more of more of branding no like if we come under the umbrella of an nrc alumni association and we have also decided right. that there will be yes, yes. board members uh, advisory body now we are yeah, seven yeah. people can yeah. a seven people work a uh, srlm project of mobilizing one district of formation of sgs yeah. can't we guys work yeah. on formation of sgs so for these type of activities do we need another entity which is under the umbrella or do we need to work in the same entity or the same block do the financials need to meet or not need to meet So like uh, this uh, has to be all India also for uh, the the organization no so like they can be at advisory body and we will also report to them our activities also so I think uh, in that way they will feel that okay we are also important alumni association these people are coming and seeking our assistance so they will feel some kind of uh, a kind of responsibility responsibility no to they can help us in any way in any manner. So, like we should not be like aloof from them. We should be, be with them, but we should have our own like uh, entity so that our work will be more flexible. I mean, supposing we we want to take one one project, then we'll have a meeting, we'll have voting, and there will be so many opinions, this and that. So many things will happen. So it can also be it can create cascading effect on our uh, like vision, no. So it will be like we are part of alumni, and we are working with our alumni, and yes. the people will be of our alumni. Yeah, it's the whole thing is like there's the fourth, the, the the fifth agenda. What I wanted to speak about this is like, uh, whatever the documents we have done now until now, the documents, all the documents, 
सो वी आर मेकिंग फाइनल डॉक्यूमेंट लाइक बायोलॉजी जो भी बनाया वो सब डॉक्यूमेंट से एक डॉक्यूमेंट फाइनल पीस बनाने के लिए वो एजेंडा है तो वो डॉक्यूमेंट में क्या क्या डॉक्यूमेंट्स को हम लोग रेफरेंस लेके बनाएंगे थर्ड पीस तो एजेंडा से रेफरेंस लेंगे ये ये डॉक्यूमेंट रेफरेंस लेते हुए डॉक्यूमेंट बनाएंगे बायोलॉज का डॉक्यूमेंट बनाएंगे ये डॉक्यूमेंट और ये टाइम लाइन डॉक्यूमेंट तो ये ये सब डॉक्यूमेंट के साथ हम लोग थर्ड पीस बनाएंगे तो इफ देर इज एनी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ वर्किंग ऑन दिस दैट वुड बी हाईली अप्रिशिएटेड ऑन द थर्ड पीस डॉक्टर सो वट एवर वी हैव डिसाइडेड वी हैव टू राइट इट इन वन पीस Anyone? Satish, I wanted to. One thing is not clear in my, in your mind. It seems. Please uh, open it up. Whether our society should be as part of aluminium or we have to make it separate entity. That thing, I think it's not clear. Okay. Uh, we, I and Stan have a point of uh, creating a wing under the aluminium itself, under the umbrella. Oh. That who are really wanted to work so that aluminium can be our uh, pitching point and open gateway for other SRLMs and other schemes where we can add up. Or okay. as you said, we, without uh, having DJ or aluminium, we can start our own thing in our own way. हम लोगों को अलग करनी है तो अलग कर सकते हैं आलमा के साथ करनी है तो अलग आलमा कर सकते हैं बट आलमा से हम इसीलिए शुरू किए हैं कि आलमा इज वन ऑफ द बिगर नेटवर्क वेर एनीथिंग कैन बी इम्प्लीमेंटेबल और वर्कबल और नेटवर्कबल और एनीथिंग इट इज या स्केलेबल तो उस जगह में हम लोगों का एसोसिएशन काम करेगा या नहीं करेगा तो वो उस, उस बातों में पता चला कि उस चर्चा में पता चला कि एम्प्लॉयमेंट जनरेशन का मुद्दा साइड में है वो मैनिफेस्टो में या कुछ भी तो एम्प्लॉयमेंट जनरेशन नेशनल विंग करेगा या नहीं करेगा तो नेशनल विंग कौन शुरू करेगा तो कोई तो Then, शुरू करेगा सो माय पॉइंट इज वी ऑलरेडी हैव देयर इंडिविजुअल टीम्स लेट अस वर्क टुगेदर एंड हैव द इंडिविजुअल टीम वी विल सेलेक्ट बेस्ड ऑन टीम्स और एल्स इफ एवरीवन इज ओके सो वी विल टेक ऑल द टीम्स सो देन वी विल डिस्कस वेदर वी विल टेक अ रीजन वाइज अ रीजन वी विल कंसंट्रेट ऑन दैट रीजन ओनली और एल्स यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट नेशनल चैप्टर और नेशनल वाइड इन डिफरेंट वाइड रीजंस वी आर वर्किंग इट डिपेंड्स सो एज ऑफ नाउ माय पॉइंट्स लेट्स वर्क इंडिविजुअली नाउ एवरीवन इज लाइक एवरीवन इज लाइक सी यू ओनली फॉर देयर टीम as of now mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so once everyone theme is completed with the concrete idea then we will select based on that only so that's what i'm telling so, so we fifth session mein sabse pehle to concrete ideas whatever we have uh, put up uh, uh, in today's session we will be coming up with uh, uh, with a concept note of that particular idea and that concept note will be consisting of what that we have already discussed in the meeting oh. so that will be our prioritize and second uh, will be this institution building follow up parts theek hai and one thing i want to add <laughs> the uh, members and bod elections hai na Let's just fix a number. A minimum 15 to 20 members. आने के बाद ही हम BOD बनवाएंगे. Let us let's figure out some number. Let, let me understand first. First about like uh, what are we trying to do all these days? We are trying to do the same thing, right, Manu? Whatever you have said now. हम लोग इतना दिन 14 सेशंस वही तो इंतजार में बैठ रहे सब लोगों के बारे में. फिर से वही कर लेंगे क्यों? हमने मोबाइल एलेक्शन हमको एक नंबर चाहिए ना भाई. I will speak hmm. about that. They they are the people who need to speak about these questions. We, it is not our main discussion. It is ah, ah, ah. their answers. This is not our part to discuss because we are we are working on this for last fourteen Sundays. Yeah, but ये question तो बहुत जरूरी है ना पुरारी जी ये two and three जो question है ये बहुत जरूरी है ना बहुत जरूरी है हम हंड्रेड परसेंट एग्री तो नहीं लिख दीजिए लिख दीजिए that the discussion and the crux of the meeting has come out like that that we need to stretch to more Sundays for institution building. ठीक है बट उसका नाम में उसका एजेंडा में के हिसाब से उसको उस समय में क्या रखेंगे मतलब कुछ भी रखेंगे आज है हां एजेंडा में क्या रहेगा दैट वी पीपल कैन रेज लाइक वन सिंपल एजेंडा इज दैट ओनली टू टू वंस अगेन ट्राई टू पुल आवर एल्युमिनाय ऑफिस बियरर गाइस टू दिस मीटिंग सो डू वी हैव दैट ईमेल इन एनीवनस माइंड राइट नाउ मतलब उन लोगों को मेल करेंगे एग्जैक्टली दैट इज द फॉर्मल वे आई कैन ब्रिंग इट आई कैन वर्क ऑन दैट प्लीज प्लीज ब्रिंग दैट ईमेल आई विल मेल Yeah, uh, I can so bring it out and I'll put it in the WhatsApp group. That's perfect. That's perfect. Very nice. Yeah. I can at least mail her. So you are you are taking the task of giving the information. I am taking that task of info giving the information to the at least to OP. at least to Deepa Gupta, who is one official member of the Alumni Association. So I am in touch with her. I can you at can, least can add Mahidar Mahidar also. Okay, Mahidar can also I can add in that. Ah, uh, unlong ko CC me rakh dijiye. They are offices very close, right? Okay. Okay. Is the one okay, what is the next one? Sorry, if they won't reply. What is the next again? Next again that uh, we have we we are done with our part. We will proceed with uh, with these ten people only. Perfect. So apart from the our agenda agenda of talking, I'm just telling a simple example. So nine ish is there, na? I think it's president. I think all ministers. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He called me. He called me and he requested me to. Vamsi, just you go there and have to do some work in the bank because wo reports and everything I have collected from the bank uh, to in on behalf of Alumni Association. I went. Almost seven days, I'm roaming here and there for 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 the bank. And I had people itself; they're not supporting uh, to give the at least a simple bank statements. 
my point is like same simple it's a simple and straightforward if you want something if someone is providing it you take it if you if someone is provided it doesn't provide it you create the provision for other people who is coming what what yeah yeah stan would you like to take the task of writing the final piece out of the uh, four, four to five documents reading four to five document you need to write vision mission objectives theme thematic identification or the gaps or activities you need to write from the existing document only you don't need to uh, uh, bring the new knowledge you need, you are you can create with the existing document which have been we have wrote together so can you yeah yeah this final last week i'll be a little busy so yeah, I wouldn't be able to contribute, or maybe on January first week I can do it, but not this week, this coming week. Yeah, I understand. Christmas is important for you, but I yeah, uh, Christmas yeah. is there, and yeah, yeah. yeah so I'm, I'm maybe January first week after New Year, I, I think I can, I can definitely contribute. Right, right, right. If anyone, Abhinesh, you want anyone wants to take this task on writing the third piece, Abhinesh, are you chota kamay yad? So, uh, you do one thing. Abhi a link. Abhi, our unnamed institution may drop. Kar the seven people will look into it. Uh -huh.